Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. Yep, it's heaving down I'm afraid and that rear window isn't closing. The little red lights flashing between the two buttons. Yeah, we're filling up with water quick. Yeah, and you can't get that rear window closed with the stupid crank tool that BMW give you. So don't even bother to try and use it. You might be able to get it down, but it ain't going back up. The red lights flashing between the two buttons, which means the rear window is now disabled. So I'm going to show you a five second trick made famous by Mr. Bozeman called the Bozeman poke. And we can get that rear window closed in five seconds. Right, well, this is a situation you don't want to be in, that's for sure. Yeah, it's pouring with rain. Yeah, and the little back window is still open and there's nothing you can do to close it. So we can go to here, back window up, nothing at all, can't do that won't go up, won't go down, won't do anything. Yep, and if you try and close the soft top, because it's flashing red at the moment, press the close button, all that happens is the window's open. You can hold this for as long as you like, and as soon as you let go, back to flashing again. So you've got to put the windows all back up again before you flood the whole car out. Okay, so let me tell you all about it. Well, on Wednesday, for a change it was a nice sunny day I mean the rest of the days have been like this it'd be absolutely heaving down so yeah oh, well, instead of going in the E31 I'll go in the 650 have the roof down get a bit of fresh air got to work no problem at all but of course it's it's pretty volatile the weather is in England at the moment and it could have rained at any time but it didn't on the way there so parked up at work press the button Roof refitted itself to the top of the car. Wings went down and all the rest of it. Window, nah, it did absolutely nothing. The rear window just stayed open and yeah, it was gonna rain at any time. So fortunately, there's a man called Bozeman who was on one of the BMW forums about 10 years ago. I think it was about, yeah, 2011, I think was the last time he updated this. It says you can use the Bozeman poke in these situations. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you the Bozeman poke. It doesn't require any tools, but we'll get that stupid red light to stop flashing so you can uh, close your rear window, which you're going to need to do in this sort of weather. In all the excitement, I forgot to tell you exactly what's gone wrong. Well, when the soft top closed, the rear left pillar didn't fully straighten and that's part of the tensioning system. Now there's a Hall effect device on that elbow that tells the system if it's fully straight. And if it isn't straight, it inhibits the soft top, the rear window and the trunk or boot. Now that's why the Bozeman poke works. You poke that elbow upwards, the Hall effect device sees that the elbow is straight and informs the control unit that that's the case. And the control unit says, Everything seems to be in order now, sir. I'm going to let you have control over the soft top, the rear window and the trunk. Sorry for any delay. Yeah, thanks a lot for that, mate. OK, so what I need to do is put the window down where I'm going to poke it, which is that one there. So I'm put that one down and very quickly. I'm going to go round and give it a poke. OK, red light flashing. OK, let's give him a poke. My hand in. Poke him about and wiggle him about a bit. And there you go. The light is off. Right, back in the car again. Right, so that is what you need in an emergency. I'm back in the car. I'm going to put that window back up until I, before I flood the car. Okay, that's the window going up. So this should be active. So I press that. Window back up again. There we go. Thank goodness for that. And the flashing light off. Right, let's have a close-up look at the mechanism and I can show you where the problem is. Righty-ho. So, this is the hall sensor here which causes the problem. And it's the movement of this joint here that is causing these hall effect sensor to not to go in completely the right place. Which is why putting your arm round and grabbing hold of this part of the mechanism here and sort of moving it around will put the whole effect device back into the right place. 
Now that's all part of the tension arm and it goes all the way up and comes to a joint about there. So the important thing here is we've got to allow this joint to move a lot freer and that's why we're going to lubricate that. Don't lubricate it too much because yeah it's going to smell of WD-40 in the cabin from then on in. Right we're only going to need a little bit of WD-40 so right there get this out of the way there we go a bit of lubrication there lubrication here this point here that's it perfect and the last one which is the thin hinge there there we go that's lubricated and i'll do exactly the same for the other side Right, yeah, well, we're dried out a bit. Let's check everything still works. Of course, you can open the top on the remote. There we go, unlocking at the front. Unlock the fins will come up next, pull that up. Rear deck up. Main bearing goes over. That's as a scissor action to bring it all down. Now, if we still have problems, I'll probably lubricate all of those linkages, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. And there we go, that's fine. Now, of course, we can't lock it or can't close the thing again on the key. You have to use the shank of the key in the door lock. Well, as long as it's coded to, in the first place, then I've got a video, I'll put a link up, how you can code all these functions like the folding mirror and so on. There we go, main bearing coming over, opens up again in this scissor action, rear wings up, rear deck down, wings will go down and that will pull this down. There we go. And then it gets pulled in there. And there we go, glass up. I'll stop it there. Yeah, no flashing between the buttons, so yeah, that's fixed it. So that's it. So thanks very much for watching. Hope that helped you out and if it did, put the thumbs up. Yeah, keep commenting, love the comments, and I'll see you next time.